All right, guys, welcome back to uh, another video uh, in this gym tip series. Uh, we'll call it just a tip he uh, just made up. Uh, so today we're gonna cover a bench. And once again, we have less than ideal uh, model, but work with what you got. Uh, so we'll cover uh, bench setup and a little bit of execution. Like I said, these will be basics. And uh, we'll get into more videos about addressing weaknesses and different uh, details that are individually, or sorry, uh, struggles with uh, different individuals have. All right, so our first step is the grip. The grip will vary, like, like most things, on your body type, uh, your preference, and kind of like some people have shoulder problems or uh, the chest issues. Uh, so everyone's gonna be a little bit different. Um, either way, when you first set up, ideally you want your hands to be even. So if you're set up on the pinky on this side or on the ring, then you want the same thing on the other side. So it's kind of like an obvious thing, but you want to be even on both sides of the bar. Uh, so like we said, you have to play around with what's comfortable for you. Uh, but ideally, you want your joints on top of each other. So if your elbow can be lined up underneath your wrist, so wherever that is when you're pushing the bar, that is ideal. Um, so you wanna start off probably with that where your hand is so that your wrist is underneath the elbow. That way the, the force is gonna be applied directly on top of each other. So that's what we call stack. Um, so yeah, start there. And then once you're getting ready to grab it, once you've determined your grip width, you want to really grab the bar and squeeze it as tight as you can a lot of tension so you hear us say tension a lot so you really want your body to be very tight and tension so that way the, the weight moves off a very steady and uh, tight uh, base okay so there's gonna be two ways two basic ways you want you can set up um, either way you there's gonna be two major points of contact on the bench that's gonna be the top of your shoulders or your traps and then your glutes so you can start uh, with uh, your traps on there first and then you settle in your lower body or you start with your glutes on the uh, settle in first and then uh, Tighten up on your traps. So either way you want as much tension as you can going your chest up and high and Arching is okay. John will show the first uh, technique okay. So he's gonna set up with his feet first Okay, so his feet are gonna be where he wants them to be when he starts his lift And now the second technique, this is the one John prefers. Um, he's gonna dig in and set up with his uh, upper traps into the bench first, and then he'll bring his legs underneath. Okay, so now that you've seen him set up, there's all kinds of tension. His legs are, are dug in the ground. If I move his legs, they're really tight, and his back is arched, his glutes are activated. Uh, all his back muscles are activated too. So this is also pretty much a whole body uh, exercise. So always remember, tension, tension, tension everywhere. Squeeze everything, even your eyelids. So the next step uh, is unracking it and then the lowering of the bar. So when John unracks it, he's still staying very tight. There's very, there's like, he's trying to have no movement in his back and he's just gonna bring his arms and pull the bar out of the rack. As he lowers the bar, John is actually trying to pull the bar apart and he's actually twisting his elbows, kind of like in the deadlift, to keep uh, tension in his lap as he lowers the bar. Do that one, hold on. So if he's, as he's lowering it, the lats are activated and he's essentially pulling the bar apart and down to his chest. So our next step is gonna be leg drive. So as John lowers the bar, he's getting ready to push the bar up. He's gonna drive his feet into the ground, but also forward. So he's kind of doing like a leg extension. So you, you see the, the force is gonna be like a leg extension. He's trying to push his toes into the floor, but also forward. That way, he's, his body is gonna be going in a horizontal direction. You don't wanna push straight down and do like a glute bridge because his butt will come off the floor. 
So our last step is going to be the bar path. Um, so you, you know, you might think you know you're, you're a bench press, you're just moving it up and down. But there's actually a ideal bar path that the bar wants to travel once it's all on your chest, uh, and it's going to look like a, a, a J. So you want it once it hits your chest, you want to slightly push back towards your face and then straight up. So you make that J motion. All right, guys. So that covers our basic uh, setup and execution of the bench. Uh, follow these basics, and you'll be benching 200 pounds like John Hack.